Dorky Daddies. How y'all doing? Today, I want to talk about multicam editing. Now, I don't even know where do I want to begin with this one. <laughs> this is a topic I am crazy passionate about because, again, it's something I do all of the time with both. I mean, like, multicam editing is everywhere. It's everywhere, no matter what you do. Especially if you make YouTube content, you've got screen captures you're trying to show. A lot of times I have two camera angles, ironically, for this video. I'm not going to do that. But I do it a lot. I do a lot of multicam editing, and a lot of YouTubers do it as well. And there's like a couple of key differences between Final Cut Pro and DaVinci Resolve and the way that they multicam edit that is just a pain. <laughs> Resolve is a pain in the ass. So, my dorks, my nerds, let's get into it. What are these things that I get a little bit nitpicky about that Final Cut Pro, in my opinion, crushes and DaVinci Resolve doesn't? And again, they are not huge things, but they add up. Anytime I edit a multicam in DaVinci Resolve, I just hate doing it because of these few small things that they need to fix. They need to fix it because in, in Final Cut, it's so seamless. The first big gripe is the way that Final Cut handles Video cutting in a multicam is so much better than Resolve. And what I mean by this is that, again, in a lot of times in a multicam, I have a separate audio source. We're doing it today. I'm recording this audio to Logic, and then I sync it in post, and I've got camera angles, screen capture angles, where the audio for those are kind of shit. They're just the on-camera mics. I clap, sync, you know, do all of the magic that we all know about. And then this audio is the audio I want to use. And this audio is the audio I want to use for the whole project, the whole edit. This is the juicy audio, but I want to change the video angles. And what I love about Final Cut Pro is that in a multicam clip, if you just have the change video option set, so like when you make a cut, it only changes the, the video or you hit, you know, your one, two, three, four, your numbers to change which angle you're on. It keeps the audio angle in that clip, but then allows you to change the video. And this is huge, right? Because again, for a lot of multicam editing, especially the kind that I do, I'm still wanting to cut out gaps. I'm making videos like this. I'm talking to the screen capture. There's so many times that I want to cut out gaps and it is so much harder in DaVinci Resolve because what DaVinci Resolve does is it just cuts the video angle. It makes a cut on the video angle, but it doesn't make a cut on the audio. And so if you want to remove dead space, you then have to move the playhead, make a global cut on where you want to cut after you've changed the angle, because you need to change the angle first. We'll talk about that in a second. We'll get to that. But you've got to make a global, global cut and then remove that dead space. And then you can do what you can do in Final Cut with, again, the, the secondary playhead, we've talked about this a lot in a lot of videos lately, but you can make the cut, change the angle, and remove the dead space so much quicker. This alone is a reason why Resolve's multicam just drives me crazy, because when I change the video angle, I also want to cut on the audio, and I want the linking behavior to remain the same, and it just doesn't do that. And again, for kind of a more live edit, like if you're doing a multicam where the audio is truly like from start to finish and you're not trying to cut out any dead space, this is fine. This works. And again, I think they kind of come from that production environment. I get it. That's why they're doing it. But like Blackmagic, can we have a setting or something where we could make that global cut, but just change the video, like have that all be one move? I haven't been able to find any keystrokes for this. It's really, really frustrating. Okay, um, so would you guys like to see me start into point number two on why I hate DaVinci Resolve multicam editing? Frustrating point number two where Final Cut absolutely just wipes the floor is that you don't need to have separate hotkeys to change your angles at the start of a clip if your playhead is also at the is that, is that making sense? So all of this smugness is because, well, 
I kid you not, I recorded this whole video. I've, I swear this point has been here for forever. And I went to go do the B-roll and demonstrate what is wrong with this point, which is that when you are at the, at the start of where you have changed angles or made a cut in a multicam and DaVinci Resolve, you cannot use your hotkeys or the clicking of the little multicam buttons to switch the angle. You had to select the clip and then use a different hotkey or change the angle or whatever. I swear, I swear, this is how bad it used to be. So in real time making this video, I figured it out that DaVinci Resolve fixed this issue. And guys, this is a huge one. This is awesome. Thank you, Blackmagic, for fixing this. And again, maybe help me. Am I crazy? Was was I doing something wrong historically? It, it can't have been that. It can't. I used to do so many multicam edits. It can't have been the case. I'm not losing my mind, I swear. But I even got on and like tried to scour the Blackmagic forums and their uh, release documents on the last couple versions, and I couldn't see anything with this. I know there was some multicam improvements recently, but this wasn't specifically called out. So I don't know. We'll take it. We'll take the win. Hey, I mean, I've been editing this video and DaVinci Resolve, and it's been an absolute blast. If you know anything about this channel, I love both of these softwares. I think at the end of the day, Final Cut Pro is still the superior multicam editing experience, but with this fix, DaVinci Resolve, that's a huge improvement, and yeah, I mean, just fix the first thing I asked for too, and then I'll shut up. Multicam and Resolve and Final Cut can be pretty much neck and neck. I mean, there's still the secondary playhead and all of that stuff that speeds all of that workflow up. But as far as like what is possible in DaVinci Resolve, that would be incredible. So anyway, we've been on a journey for this video. We had two main issues. One of them still persists and drives me crazy. Another one was fixed, which is amazing. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely consider hitting that subscribe button if you love editing DaVinci Resolve Final Cut. Um, just editing in general. That's what we're all about here on this channel. Um, and if you've seen a couple of these videos and you like them, consider becoming a member, becoming a dorky daddy. Um, they are the nerdiest of the bunch. We love the dorky dads. They support the channel and make it possible. So thank you guys for your support. We love the dorky dads. They're, they're the dorkiest. They're the best. So anyway, um, I'm going to get back to it, get back to editing. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Stay dorky. I sound like such a dork loony, but like, guys, this matters. This is the stuff I care about, and this is the stuff I lose sleep over. Whenever I do a multi-cam edit and resolve, I want to just throw my computer out of the shed.